What is up everyone, it's Sir Deathvids, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll show you how to paint fantasy orcs for Warhammer or D&D, but this tutorial also works for 40k orcs as well. The first step will always be priming the miniature, which was covered in a previous episode. This is the difference between a spray paint that needs replacing and a new one. The new one goes on in a much smoother coating. The second step is to make the skin areas green. For this, I am using Wah Flesh. You don't have to worry about being messy because it's the first layer of paint on the model. Next, Lead Belcher was used to color the cleaver and chainmail. There's no particular way to do this, you just want good coverage on both. After that, it's time to paint the clothes. On the other two that I painted, Gorthor Brown was used, but for this one, I went with Deathclaw Brown. It's much more orange than the other. Simply apply a light coating over all the areas that the cloak covers and fix any areas with the correct colors after. For this model, you have to estimate where the neck and clothing meets. Now we can move on to the belt, and I've chosen Rhinox Hide for it. I drag the brush along the belt line, making sure to cover all sides of it. Next, it's time to paint the belt buckle. I'm painting mine with Yushabti Bone, but a metallic color like Balthazar Gold could be used instead. For the wooden handle of the cleaver, XV88 was used. The ball at the end of the cleaver was made metallic using the same paint as the blade. I later noticed that the tang of the blade went further down the wooden handle than I thought, so I adjusted accordingly with more lead belcher. I then used Bugman's Glow to color in the handle of the cleaver. It is now time to move on to the base. First, coat it using PVA glue, spread that around, and dip it into sand. This is fine sand, but you can use whatever type of sand you want. Like with the mummy, I brushed the sand away from his feet. Once that was dry, I put a heavy coat of Abaddon Black over the sides and top part of the base where the orc stands. I wasn't worried about getting paint on the feet because they weren't previously painted. Dawnstone was brushed over the top of the base to reveal the texture in the sand. After that dried, Mornfang Brown was painted on the boots. I fixed up any mistakes on the skin by using the same wall flesh as before. Warboss Green was brushed over the skin to brighten it and add more depth to the model. I then moved on to the bracelet, which I made Balthazar Gold. Any misplaced brush strokes on the clothing was removed by using the same Deathclaw Brown as before. Each button along the belt was given a touch of lead belcher paint to make it differentiated from the leather. Carax Stone made the signature orc teeth visible, and after fixing the lip it was time to add a shade to the model. All skin areas were coated heavily with Coelia Green Shade. I colored in the eyes using Evil Sun Scarlet, but messed up horribly and had to fix my mistake with extra war boss green. After that dried, I gave the whole model a heavy wash with some of the last Agrax Earthshade left in the container. You could finish here, but as a final step, I always like adding blood to the weapons with corn red. And now you have a finished orc model. This was a really fun tutorial, and it could be used to easily batch paint a bunch of orcs. You may have also noticed this barricade that I made, I think it's pretty good. If you want to see a tutorial on things like that, then comment down below. Thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do give me a like and a sub, because that really helps me out. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!